for coming here today for this uh, Ireland-Palestine Solidarity Campaign Boycott Action uh, to signal the beginning of Boycott Israel Week. Uh, I've written here some questions and answers that I'm going to put to you. The first question, why are we here? We're here to advocate a boycott of Israel. Why Israel? Because Israel is a rogue state. Israel is a state that was founded in blood and that is maintained in ethnic cleansing and in cruelty towards the Palestinian people and in contempt of international law, as we saw recently in the passport affair. Why a boycott? Because 20 years ago we found that the boycott was the best weapon for ordinary people to help bring down the apartheid regime in South Africa. What does apartheid mean? Apartheid means separate development of two peoples, one of whom is above the law and the other is beneath the law. In the case of Israel, it is the Jewish Israelis who are above the law and the Palestinian Arabs who are beneath the law. In the case of South Africa, it was the white racist regime that was above the law and the black majority that was below the law. Both systems are apartheid. But isn't Israel completely different from South Africa? And yes, it is different. It is different because it is worse. And we have heard this from people like Archbishop Tutu, Ronnie Casserills, the former minister in the South African government, who pointed out that at least in South Africa they didn't bombard the townships. They didn't starve the townships the way Israel does to the Palestinian people in the ghettos that they have forced them into in Gaza, in the West Bank, and also now in East Jerusalem. So why not leave it to our wonderful government to take action on these matters? Because our government is part of the European Union, and the collective decision of the European Union is that Israel, no matter how much contempt it shows towards them, is a friend. Israel is a strategic ally. And instead of calling for sanctions on Israel, the European Union has a trade agreement with Israel that gives it trading privileges, and they refuse to consider or even threaten suspending this because of Israel's violation of its human rights clause. But didn't Minister Martin go to Gaza recently? And didn't he say very strong things about the, the, the blockade of Gaza by the Israelis? And the answer to that is yes, he did go to Gaza. And he deserves some credit for going to Gaza because he is the only European foreign minister who has been to Gaza in the over 12 months since so-called Operation Cast Lead when Israel invaded and killed over 1,400 defenseless Palestinian civilians. Not a single European Union foreign minister has gone to Gaza in that time except Michal Martin. But unfortunately, when Michal Martin was asked would he be speaking to the representatives of the Palestinian people while he was in Gaza, he said he would not. And why not? Because first of all, they had to recognize Israel. And secondly, they had to renounce violence. Now it is Israel that killed 1,400 Palestinians last year, but nobody is asking Israel to renounce violence. Nobody is asking Israel to recognize the rights of the Palestinian people, their right to self-determination. So the final question, isn't it futile for me not to buy Israeli goods? Isn't it a waste of time, me just going in and saying, I won't buy that Jaffa orange or that Dead Sea beauty product? And the answer to that is, it is not a waste of time because you are one of many people who are using this weapon, which is the people's we weapon, a boycott. And boycott leads, we hope, to divestment for firms, companies, corporations, religious orders, all kinds of organizations divest, remove their investments from the state of Israel, from Israeli corporations, and also for companies that do business with Israel, like Cement Roadstone Holdings, or Caterpillar, that manufactures bulldozers that are used to kill activists like Rachel Corey. So, boycott divestment and sanctions, BDS. Final question, what do we want? And the answer, BDS. What do we want? BDS. What do we want? BDS. And another final question, as Richard Bolfarad would say, uh, when do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. Okay, let's get to it. Thank you. Well done.